Safeguarding is really one of the most important things here. How to safeguard yourself from you know, the jinn? Remember what I said earlier. Jinn, the creation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they are afraid of, you know, from humans. Uh, nothing can happen to you without the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nobody can harm you without the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The fire cannot burn you without the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, without the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The fire is nothing but, but, a per, but, but a creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It cannot burn. It will burn with the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A knife cannot kill. It kills with the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So nothing can happen without the will. To the extent that a leaf can fall from the tree, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows how many turns that leaf will, fall, will, will turn in the air before it reaches the ground. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given the order to that leaf how many turns it should turn and where it should fall. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given the order to the rains. How many rains, how many rain drops and where to drop. And when the rain should drop and when it shouldn't drop. Everything happens. Not even a single atom does not move without the will and permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Which means nothing can happen without the permission of Allah. So put your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nothing can scare you or frighten you. Some people say, oh, I have, to, I have to drive back home by myself. Hey, well, you will drive home by myself, by yourself. And you are in Dikr. You are in the garden of Jannah. Who can terrorize you? Allah is with you. The angels are with you. You are in constantly members of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nothing can harm you if Allah does not want to harm you. Yes, they tried to scare me. Let me tell you this. When, alhamdulillah, I was back home and I was doing my, my qiyam al-layl and then I heard... Yeah, I have to say this. I'm sorry, but what was that? They tried to scare you. And I told my friends, they were sleeping, you know, some of them were sleeping with me. Said, Did you guys hear this noise? They said, no, we didn't hear anything, Sheikh. I wasn't Sheikh at that time. No, we didn't hear anything. I said, okay, I know who that is. I know. I know who it was. The next day, did Qiyam al-Layl. I said, well, Allah, you can you know, keep on doing until next day. I will not move. Even though you're so Jewish, you can keep on laughing, you can keep on doing. They will try to scare you, but you put your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nothing can happen without his will and without his permission. Ibrahim was thrown into the fire. Did anything happen to him? La, why? Ya naru kuni baradan wa salaman ala Ibrahim. Oh, fire, be cool and peace on Ibrahim. The fire burns, but it didn't burn. Why? Because the fire is creation of Allah. Khalid bin Walid, he understood this. When he caught who? Musa ilim al kadda. And when he says uh, he had this poison. What is poison for? Uh, because if I was caught, I will, I will eat it. He said, oh, this poison kills, you think? You think this poison kills? Bismillah. And he ate. Khal min walid. Do you think it kills? I'm not telling you to do that. You have to have very, very strong iman for this to happen. So yes, drive home by yourself. And alhamdulillah, you're cool, you're fine. You are in constant members of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you, when you wake up, you have dhikr. You always, A'udhu billah, inshallah, bismillah, ma'ala, rahim, and then you Quran. Nothing scares you. In fact, remember this. The jinn, they are scared of you. But because of the myth, that people are, you know, come up with. This is what we become, you know, somewhat frightened of this world of jinn. Devils. Jinn. La. The only thing I'm afraid of is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Be his partner.